Yo, yo, what up, everybody? First of all, everyone can hear me, right? Because at this point, my audio issues have been through the roof. Holy fuck. Um, <laughs> this has been a crazy, hearing loud and clear, awesome. Well, good, because we are finally back after my eight-month hiatus. Holy fuck. Hey guys, hey Blue, hey Zuku, I see uh, Jeremy, hey there Fiendish, uh, anybody else I miss, 100% giving the hit. <laughs> Best say for real, we gotta have the floor of the Pokemon edition here. Uh, I think I saw like 17 months, god damn bud. Hey Scribe, holy shit, hey there Griffin, hey. Uh, yeah, I last streamed November, dude. It's been a crazy year. Hey, Cloud's also here. Hey, Cloud. Hey, Krona. Uh, let's see. Uh, Tachi, yo, welcome. Hey, thank you. Thank you for the sub. Thank you so much, my dude. Thank you. We got some hype trains going. Holy shit. Uh, everyone's doing gift subs. Holy fuck. I'm I'm just gonna let the stream figure out its shit because y'all y'all are going crazy. I love it. I love the energy. Uh damn, damn, damn. Uh fun part in your Discord. Yeah, no, I get you. I get you. That's why you boost, you twitch Discord, or you do Patreon for all that stuff. So at work, just wanted to tell you the character design fun. Sweet. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I knew someone's got hydrate. So I got my bulb of water. Don't worry. Do not worry. I knew I knew someone was gonna fucking pull a hydrate, so I got you. I got you, bro. Um no, we're not doing any voices. Uh uh. I'm not ruining I, I wanna have a nice chill stream. I'm pretty sure I have those things disabled. Um the most crazy we have is the spin the wheel stuff. Um, which I don't know if it's gonna trigger or not. We'll find out. Uh, let's see. Hope you enjoyed a two-week rest. Uh, I gotta get ready for another con, so. Let's see. Spin the bulb oil. Let's see. Uh, um, let's see. I don't know if my redeems are gonna work, quite frankly. So, you can, it's okay if my name is hard to say. Because it's either Jerome or Jeremy. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's Jerome. I could be wrong. I also can't read very well. I'm going to be completely honest. So it's Jer I'm hoping Jerome because typing it out is one of those things. Uh, where is my... I want to see... Uh, users in chat. No, that's not what I want. I want to see the reward thingy. There it goes. Manage requests. Because that was the only thing I did not pull out. All right, someone did spin the wheel. So do I have a command? Uh, got it. Do I have a spin? I think I have spin command. Okay, yeah, it's just not showing for some reason. Why are you not showing? That's annoying. Well, I don't know why the wheel spin isn't working, so I'm going to reject that. Um, blue, I'll figure that out another time. You get to keep your points. Um, no big deal. So, you know, if that's the one technical difficulty is that weird widget that I spent like six hours on wasn't working, that's fine. So, you cosplay in the gym and not get attention. Um, no, no one's giving me any issues uh, other than in Vegas we got kicked out because, uh, hey Jess, hey, welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, we got kicked out in Vegas. The security guard did not like that we were there, but we also weren't guests at that hotel. We were mooching from a friend who was in the hotel, so they kicked us out just because we weren't guests, not because of cosplay. But it was fucking rude how they kicked us out because we were literally leaving, and they're like, what are you guys doing? And I'm like, um, leaving? We are physically leaving. Like... And the guy was like, oh, where's your room key? And all this stuff. It's like, we're here with a friend. Well, where's your friend? And I'm like, he's in his room. Well, how are you going to get to his room if the elevators require a room key? I'm like, bro, just let us fucking leave. <laughs> like, we were literally leaving. <laughs> and the security guard came in. It was bad. It was so fucking bad. Uh, but yeah, no no worries on that. Otherwise, I haven't got kicked out as Marin because that was at the uh, um, Kimochi Khan Hotel. 
So, which was funny. I worked out next to K-Bear's husband, so that was pretty cool. Um, so, that, I didn't realize it was K-Bear's husband until I met him at her booth. And I was like, oh, hey, I worked out next to you in the gym. That was actually pretty cool. Um... Because I always do the polite thing of, like, if there's someone in the gym space, like, hey, we're going to be recording, just so you know. Uh, and the dude was like, yeah, no, we're fine. I'm about to be done out of here anyway. So it's like, all right, cool. Just making sure. Uh, whoa, we got a raid. Hey, thank you for the raid stopped. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, my dude. Thank you. Um, uh, and then, let's see, we've only done that in Saber. I'm probably going to bring uh yang to the gym next since i've been going to iron forge gym lately here in austin um which they are an influencer gym and i already asked them it's like hey is cosplay okay like i want to do these videos and they're like yeah no we don't care as long as it's not indecent and it's also like just you, you know like don't bother people and quite frankly when i go to the gym there it's really dead so i'm pretty sure it'll be fine so uh but yes yeah, nice to see you all again um so i had to like take like 30 minutes to uh pause the stream earlier because i couldn't hear my switch and that was gonna be like a major issue because we're gonna be playing suki Hime today um Yes, I absolutely love that Viz picked up Ruby. I'm so glad Ruby has a new home. I absolutely excited that Carrie and a lot of the VAs are on board still. So that's gonna be awesome. Um, yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, I mean, I'm very excited for that. Ruby has beaten the fucking odds versus a lot of other primetime shows that have been canceled. Like the last one I can think of that that had this kind of fan following backing kind of thing. Uh, was Owl House, who got their last, like, three episodes released to YouTube. Or, um, anyone remember Chuck? Remember how, like, we had to boycott everything, and then, like, they had to have partnerships for season three? So, yeah. Anyway, uh, but yeah, no, that's awesome. So, I've been working out, too. I'm not sure... <laughs> Hey, planks suck. Okay, planks are their own thing. Do not worry about planks. Like, everyone has their own strengths and other things. Uh, yeah, it was a live-action TV show. It was back in the day. It was, like, 2006 or something. Uh, Zachary Levy or something like that, I think. I can't remember. He is the guy that... Yeah, something like that. Um, he just became a superhero in that one show, in that one movie... Yeah, it was a good show. I liked Chuck. It was so long ago. Um, but yeah, it, like, season three got canceled. And then everyone fucking rioted. Shazam! Thank you, thank you. I only watched it on an airplane. Not my thing. Um, but it, it was okay, just not my thing. Um, yeah, no, like, I was so excited seeing that announcement. And I, like, honestly, the fact that the Twitter account got live again and all this other stuff uh, was fun. So, yeah. I know, Static Shock needs more a reboot. Batman Beyond needs to fucking come back. I'm so pissed Warner Brothers canceled Batman Beyond, all right? Like, that concept art that came out, like, oh my fucking god. Like, ugh, mad about that. Love Batman Beyond. Um, anyway, anyway, so we are back. We are streaming. We are going to start doing visual novels. And that means we're going to start off with Suki Hime. For those of you who do not know, Tsukihime is one of the original visual novels from Type Moon, aka it is one of the first Nasuverse. Oh, come on, camera! Thank you. Uh, it is one of the first visual novels that they came out with. It was actually come out before they were an actual company, back when they were just a doujin circle. And so this is a remake of the game. Uh, so by remake, Nasu has completely rewritten it, um, and... Took out all the sex scenes because he didn't want them in the first place. God damn it, Takauchi for forcing Nasu to put sex scenes in. Um, I'm sure someone has a patch for this somewhere. But I got it on Switch because I like physical media and Steam is okay. But I like physical media, so yeah. Um, also, hello, welcome there, uh, Fall Bearer. Thank you so much for joining us on our stream. Um, so... Farscape got a movie finished in the night. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Fans revi revolt on that stuff. So, um, 
No, you're perfectly fine there, Prince. You're perfectly fine. So this is going to be a chill stream. Like, I know there's a lot of energy right now because we are back after a while. So, um, which is great. I am so glad to be back. I don't know how consistent I will be because I do have stuff I need to do. But I miss playing games. I miss being part of the community. I also just want to chill out with you guys. So, hey. Anyways, we're going to start playing Tsukihime. So... Let's go ahead, get locked and loaded, and let's begin. So we are on our stream here. So I had to install it, of course, too. Um, I haven't even turned this on at all, for reference. So, yes, this is my first time going through it completely. I have not played it at all. Uh, I have never played any of them before. I actually don't know hardly anything of the premise, so... I just know it's by Type Moon, and it's part of the overall NASA-verse, so... ...家の中に皆がいない。慣れた草と髪の匂い、澄み木細工のような空。部屋の隅には泥りと、こびりついたような古い影。死にたえた音の中で過去を忍ぶ。見ていた夢は、もしもの話ばかりだった。例えばもし空が曇っていたのならもし気づくのが少し早ければもし彼が衰えていなければもし私が生まれていなかったらそれともし I'm a big Fate fan, so I've read the fan translation of Fate's Day Night and played FGO, so otherwise I've not touched any other of Nasu's work. ほう。と白く息が白くなっていく。庭はとても指先が痛くなるぐらい寒かった。凍る星、深い闇、さめざめと世界を照らす冷たい光。屋敷の庭はすごく広くて、周りは深い闇に囲まれている。I see the chat. I will uh, talk a little bit more once we get done with this interlude part. 大きなカーテンのようだった。I'm not ignoring you guys, I promise. Marude Dokoka no Gekijo Mitai. Za to Kozue no Madoga Hiraite. Jiki Sarkas no Hajimaru no Kato Waku Akushita. Oku de Iron no Otoma Stayer. Kuroi Kigi no Katen no Oku. Mori no Naka de Minaga Tonoiso ni Sawaider.幕はまだ開かない。我慢できずに森の中へと入っていった。すごく暗い。森は深くて冷たい光も届かない。色々な音がして色々なものがある。けれど暗くてよくわからない。途中で誰かとすれ違ったかも。よく記憶できないくらい。自分の名前を呼ばれた気がして、もっと奥へと歩いていった。木々のエールを抜けた後、森の広場にはみんな揃って待っていた。わからない。Like, I know this is going to be dark, but she's going to be dark. 
僕は子供だからよくわからない。ビシャリと温かいものが顔にかかる赤いトマトみたいに赤い水本当によくわからないけれどただ寒くて僕は泣いてしまいそうだった森は黒くて見たくない地面は赤くて見たくないだから空を見上げることにした目に温かいヒーローが混ざってくる眼球の奥に染み込んでくるだけど全然気にならない夜空にはただ一人きりの月がある見知らぬ人は今度こそ僕をバラバラにしようとやってくるなのに僕はぼんやりといつまでも青い影を見上げているすごく不思議どうして今まで気がつかなかったんだろうああ今夜はこんなにも More blood. All right. 何も見えない世界がだんだん消えていくその中でずっときれいに輝いてる<音声>ああ気がつかなかった今夜はこんなにも月がきれい。Music is chilling. All right, cool. I have a press any button start. Oh no, I didn't want to actually start. I wanted to read the chat.、Ah. Okay, is it going to make me actually acknowledge that? Okay, if that's the case, I'm going to scroll up in the chat and start. Nope. I just don't want to skip anything <laughs> before I talk. Recording a p o e Okay, I didn't even read that part. Whoopsie. Okay, cool. It's gonna make me click through it. I don't like pausing if I can help it because that was a full like intro scene, but I can click to continue.、Um, so let me scroll up now to where I stopped talking with y'all.、Um, Yeah, we need to play more Melty Blood for sure.、Uh, for Hoozle, for sure.、Um, I'm so sorry that your car had an issue again. Like, holy fuck.、Um, you can't catch a break there, Gold. I I'm glad that you're doing okay, though, bud. I really am.、Um, so sorry also about your stuff, Prince. I'm glad your dad's、uh, better, though.、Uh, That's definitely for sure. And yeah, no, if you lost a friend over something dumb and it's their loss, fuck them. <laughs> fuck them for sure.、Um, let's see. Devil's a part time is great. I still haven't seen a new season. I really need to.、Um, I'm glad your wife was there for you, Gold. That's really sweet and supportive. Always gotta support the SOs for sure. Season four Black Butler, I just finished. It was fucking phenomenal. I, I really hope that they adaptate the next the arc in the manga, honestly. And even though the manga Kai just went on a hiatus, but that's the first time she's been on break since she started the manga. So, God bless, she needs a break.、Uh... Yes, we do need season two of My Dress of Darling for sure. We absolutely do. 
but they haven't announced it yet other than it's coming. So there's like 13 volumes out now. So hey, that's at least something. Another new car rocking a 24 Chevy Trailblazer. That's a nice car. That's absolutely a nice car, uh, gold. Let me change the room color. Um, okay, fine. We'll change it. Unless anyone wants to argue with that and fight them. Make it blue. I mean, it fits for the game right now, so. Uh, be down for shit after Evo. What is Evo again? Behoothal? Hey, hey there, Ryan. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I did try streaming also to TikTok. It did not have a good outcome. Like, it just wasn't a good thing. So I'm just going to keep posting clips, honestly, instead. Uh, did the Emerald Witch Art get confirmed for Black Butler? Because I didn't see anything confirmed. I know it's all speculative. Evo's 29th. I wasn't in a car accident. I just went on massive hiatus because I had a lot of uh, stuff happening and I had other medical issues pop up, but not a car accident, thank God. <laughs> Yeah, I don't blame you for taking a long break after Evo. I really don't. But someone hit my car in 2022 and totaled it, but my car was parked at the time. Um, so I wasn't injured, thank God. New car is paid off and everything already now, so. Oh, okay, I missed it then from the confirmation of Crunchy Panel then. Sweet. I'm excited then. Yay. All right, so let, now that I'm caught up, we're gonna go ahead and go back to the reading of the game, so. And it looks like this is not voiced, this part. Oops, that's that. I thought this was fully voiced. Okay, well, I guess I'm reading it, guys. I didn't sign up for voice acting because I thought it was fully voiced, but I, I guess I'm voice acting. I haven't touched Fate Grand Order in like four years, dude. That's kind of why I wanted to start streaming again so that I could actually get caught the fuck up. But there's so many servants that I don't need to buy, honestly. All right. We are back with the voice acting streams because I didn't realize this wasn't voiced. I thought this was voiced. It was reading it before. So. There are curtains that gently sway. A chilly breeze enters through the open window. I instinctually squint at the harsh color of the room. Where am I? What day is it? What happened to me? Can't seem to think straight. I try to push myself up, but the sharp pain courses throughout my body. My breath catches in my throat and I start gasping for air like a fish. Is this what they mean by seeing stars? The moment I place my hand against the hard bed, pain erupts from the inside out again. <sighs> Still lying down, I take a deep breath and look over my body. Both my hands are covered in bandages. My left legs also set in a plaster cast. I feel a tightness around my head, so it must be wrapped up too. A large, thick appendage strip is stuck to my chest like it's hiding something bad. My left arm has a tube poked into it. Some parts of me understand that it's an IV. I guess I must have seen all this while I was drifting in and out of sleep. Pasta. Oh, wow, your fifth child. Holy shit. Good job. <laughs> 
Glad that you had fun at Amherst St. Louis, that's for sure. The other room, dimly lit, reeking of medicine and chemicals. The array of tubes poking out from under, from under the bandage on my chest. The scary man in the suit who came to see me. My little sister, getting scolded by the man when she came to visit. And the doctor, as giddy as a child. I remember all of it like it was a dream. <laughs> okay, it is voice. It's just not the monologuing or the narrative. Okay. I hear the voice of an unfamiliar woman. I don't have the strength to answer her. She then bursts out of the room, frantically calling for the doctor. Pitter-patter, pitter-patter, go her steps. She really shouldn't be running in a hospital, even if it is to get me help. Unable to lift my body, I turn my head and look up at the window. I feel a sharp pain in each of my eyes. As if a jagged knife were poking and prodding around inside my brain. The sky outside is so blue, it looks unreal. I find my eyes flinching not from the white, hot glare of the sun, but from the spotless stretch of blue. I didn't mean for this to be an ASMR stream, honestly, but that's fine. I want to do more reading streams, so... Days pass. Since waking up, I still haven't been able to move from the bed. My only view of the outside world is the same faraway sky as before. Gently, the curtain flaps. A dry wind touches my cheek. The stainless swatch of... The stainless swash of blue leaves... <laughs> the stainless swash of blue leaves my eyes feeling woozy. Where am I? What day is it? Why am I in the hospital? Gradually, the answers come to me, except for one. I keep looking out the window, a thought just out of reach, something important, a tearful promise I can't remember. That is a long list of people to meet. That's awesome, Gold. And hey, Mama, welcome. Welcome to the chat. Yeah, we are back. We are back. I'm not putting on the Bulbasaur hat. No, I'm rejecting that right now. Sorry. I don't I don't want to mess with uh, my headset. Thank you. Words from a man I've only just met. He offers me a handshake. With his gentle smile and soft-spoken voice, he seems like a kind man. So, I get the feeling he's someone who could wipe the smile off his face at the flip of a switch. The clean white coat he wears fits him perfectly. Got you with the hydrate, don't worry. Also, hey Sal! How's it going, bro? Yeah. Hit by a car, huh? Okay. The man, draped in white, smiles as he utters something a doctor probably shouldn't say. It's a miracle that you're alive. The queasy feeling I was holding back threatens to spill out after I hear those words. So this is Suki Hime. It is a visual novel written by Nasu, which is the main author of Type Moon. So the same people who did Fate. So I've never played it. I don't know much about the premise other than it's moon vampires. <laughs> so we'll see how it is. A friend of mine had a truck uh, a truck coon cosplay, um, and that was at um, Anime Frontier. So go look that up. Yes, Hasbun Hotel is a great show. Yes. 
ああそうしなさい今は無理をせず体を休ませてあげないとね The doctor continues smiling. Honestly, it makes me feel uneasy. I have not seen Death Parade now. I have not seen Death Parade now. I have not seen Death Parade now. No, it's not a. I mean, so it's not a game that's read to me. I thought it was going to be fully voiced, like narrative and everything, to where it would be just an audiobook. But it's just the speaking lines seem to be.、Uh, Read. So I'm going to be reading the narrative, obviously, because what else are we doing on stream? It's a little less darker than this. Fair enough, fair enough. Full romance. So it is a, it's supposed to, I don't, okay. Originally, it did have love romance routes and stuff. I wouldn't call it a dating novel type thing,、um, but they, they are. We'll have interest in this. For a brief second, the smile vanishes from the doctor's face. Then he raises out of his seat, smile reapplied. His shoes clack against the floor as he disappears behind the curtain. <laughs> The doctor whispers to his nurse, his voice cold and harsh, starkly different from before. At least he has bedside manner. The frenzied lines cling to every surface of the hospital. I don't know why, but just seeing them is enough to make me feel sick. There are even scribbles on my bed. I touch one of them with my finger. The, the finger slides in.、Oh. If I had something thinner, I bet I could go even further. I grab a plastic knife off a nearby tray and trace one of the scribbles with it. With no effort at all, the knife sinks down to the handle. Enjoying myself, I glide the knife along the lines in the bed. With a heavy sound, the bed falls neatly in the two pieces. Thank you for the follow. Thank you so much for the follow there. I have no idea how to pronounce your name. I'm going to be completely honest. The K. Kavroko? I have no idea. I'm so sorry. But thank you so much for the follow. With a heavy sound, the bed falls neatly in the two pieces. I turn to the voice behind me. The shriek belongs to the nurse standing at the door, her face stiff with shock. I notice the doctor hasn't asked me why I broke it, but how. それでどうやってベッドを壊したんだいだから線をなぞっただけなんだわかったこの話はまた明日にしよう The doctor lets out a sigh He stops smiling as soon as I mention the scribbles I guess his switch is broken This hospital is full of broken things In the end no one believed me No matter what it is, I can cut it cleanly by slicing the lines with a knife. I don't even need to put any muscle into it. It's easy, like cutting paper with a pair of scissors. The bed, the chair, the desk, the walls, and even the floor, none of them are any different. And I've never tried it. 
And I'm positive it would be the same for people, too. No one else can see the scribbles. Only I can. I think it's because everything is falling apart. And these are the seams holding them together. Just like my chest, it still hasn't fully healed after the operation, so they stitched me up where it would otherwise fall apart. That's gotta be it. I mean, how else could a kid like me cut open a whole wall? The nurse screams again. Seeing the holes in the wall, she glares in my direction. Her shriek goes on and on. Luckily, something is up on my ears, so it doesn't sound all that loud to me. The drawn-out noise fills me with dread, like the sound of a burning cicada. Everything is in tatters. The idea of opening my eyes, of living at all, is enough to make me want to disappear. All this time, I never knew about the stitches holding the world together and how easily they can break. No one else sees them. That's why they can go on living just fine. They don't know about the cracks all around us. They don't know how damaged their lives are. But I see it all. It chills me to the bone, holding me in place. Since it happened, everything sounds muffled, like my ears have been stuffed. Only the gash in my chest screams like a siren. But what happened and when? No matter how hard I try, I can't remember, and scratching my head over it doesn't help either. My brain must have gotten rid of that information to make space for something more important. But the questions still leak but the questions still leak out like water from a tap. Oh, I think I get it. The pieces all fit. That's why there's no mirror in here. If there was, the first thing I would do is blank it? I'd be laughing while it lays there shattered, which means they're not the ones in danger of breaking. It's me who's broken. Now it all makes sense. Why two weeks have passed and no one believes me. Why two weeks have passed and no one's come to see me. Why two weeks have passed and I'm the only one living in this stitched together world. So I briefly kind of know about Shiki because that's who this protagonist is and I know he fights with a knife but I didn't realize this was his power was cutting the weaves of the world that's actually really fucking cool so at least we're getting his origin story as much as he sounds really fucked in the head right now so I don't want to be in this hospital anymore I don't want to be surrounded by these scribbles. I have to get somewhere far away, where there won't be any people around. I am not the weird one. It's this place that's weird, is what I tell myself as I make a run for it. I think all the voice actors for Ruby are coming back. We don't know all the details yet, so. But the wound in my chest stops me from getting too far. By the time I realize it, I've ended up in the field next to the hospital. I didn't get very far at all. <laughs> my chest is burning. I squat to the ground miserably, battling a bout of coughs. I can't stay here, but I can't go anywhere else either. There's nowhere to go for someone who can see all of the stitching. Another wave of cough, another wave of coughs hit me. No one's around. A sea of grass at the end of summer. It wouldn't be the worst place to disappear. The thought is suddenly interrupted. The voice of a woman cuts through to my ears, clear as crystal. Sensei!
I'm not doing that right now because we're reading. Sorry, scribe. <clears throat> the woman sc scolds away, her finger pointing at me grumpily. Ugh, bot! Go away. Go away. We need to ban this person. Hang on. Uh, where's my mod mode? Show mod icons. Thank you. Because I don't have mod icons enabled in my uh, thingy right away. Thank you. The woman scolds away, her finger pointing at me grumpily. I feel anger creep up inside me. I'm not that small. I'm only the fourth shortest in my class. Who's gonna... Oh, wait. He read that himself. The woman sure looks proud of herself, crossing her arms like that. She speaks casually like one friend to another and offers out her hand. Seeing no reason to refuse, I introduce myself as Shiki Hono and accept her hand offered hand like I'm being pulled in magnetically. Talking to her is fun. She doesn't shoot down anything I say just because I'm a kid. She treats me like a person, listening to my every word. I tell her all about myself. I tell her about home, about my long family lineage, how my dad is tough on uh, etiquette and stern all the time. How I have a little sister, Akihia, Akiha, who's really quiet and follows me everywhere. How I always play with Akia and our friends in the garden, which is as big as a forest since we have a huge mansion. How the addict is our secret spot. How I'm bad at word games. How everyone says I'm going to grow taller. How I used to look at the smell of hospitals. How I used to like the smell of hospitals, but now I don't. How I love the sky when it's clear and blue, but looking at it makes me want to cry. How I'm glad to be alive. How I don't even hate the doctor with the pretended smile. I surprise myself. I keep yapping away feverishly. The woman starts to leave. The thought of being alone again fills me with sadness. She says it so naturally, as if the idea that we weren't going to meet again tomorrow hasn't even crossed her mind, and leaves. We'll get to talk again tomorrow, just like we did today. I'm so happy. It's the first time I've felt something so strongly since waking up from the accident. Going to the grassy field in the afternoon has become a regular thing. The lady would get angry whenever I called her Aoko. She seems to hate her own name. Unsure what to call her at first, I eventually settle on Master. Master always listens to whatever I have to say and solves each and every one of my problems. Since the accident, I've hated talking to people, but thanks to her, I'm slowly becoming my old self again. Being here on the grassy field is the only time my worries slip away, and I feel like the old me. I don't know who she really is, but I get the sense she could actually be a real teacher at some school. Not that any of my not that it's any of my business. Being around her is fun. That's all that matters. Nee, sensei. It's interesting that they sub it to master when sensei means teacher, and that's what I've always known her as is Shiki's teacher. But okay. 
I want to surprise her. I pull out a knife I took from the hospital and I cut the tree standing in the field. Tracing the lines, I slice from the center of the tree to the park. To the, to the bark. She's speechless. I get into a groove and decide to sink my knife into the horizontal line across the base of the tree. She rushes toward me and I feel the palm of her hand slap my cheek. She stares at me seriously. It's an unforgivable look, the determined gaze of someone about to punish an evildoer. How could I be so stupid? I was having so much fun. I completely forgot. These scribbles shouldn't exist, which means someone like me who can see them shouldn't exist either. A feeling of regret seeps into my chest like blood. I wish I could crawl up in into a ball and die. That tree was the last reminder that this field was once a forest. And, and desperate to show off, I went and destroyed it for no reason at all. I feel tears trickle down my face. I know boys shouldn't cry, but I can't help it. I hear my name called softly. Suddenly, even with the knife still in my hand, she hugs me tight. あやまる必要はないわ。うん。まあ、確かに式は怒られるようなことをしたけど、それは決してあなただけが悪いってわけじゃないんだから。お。悪いのは僕だけじゃない。ええ。でもね、式。それとは別のところで。今誰かが君を叱っておかないと取り返しのつかないことになる。だから私はあなたを一人の人間として見た。同じ立場の人間として意見して怒って本気で叩いた。近い。Oops。Her words truly frightened me. It isn't that I'm afraid of her killing me but that I had pushed her into almost doing so. The thought of it makes my heart sink. ないね、四季。私も謝らないから。あなたはそれだけのことをしたんだって覚えていてほしいから。うん。その代わり、四季は私のことを嫌ってもいいわ。うん。先生のこと嫌いじゃないよ。And just like that, as if to melt away my feeling of regret, she quietly asks me about the scribbles I keep seeing. When I start telling her about the lines, I feel her hug me tighter. その線は幻じゃない。あなたは幻。そこはごまかしようがない。I fight back the tears. What she said stings a thousand times more than when the doctors doubted me. But it's not like I didn't see this coming. From the very start, from the moment I woke up, I've known the truth. I shouldn't even be alive. Hayamaranaide. どんなに馬鹿げたでたらめがやってきても My first lesson, she calls it, with a hint of embarrassment. Having a strange condition isn't the problem itself. The problem is how I choose to deal with it. 
この落書きも説明できるもちろんものにはね壊れやすい箇所というものがあるいつか壊れる私たちは壊れるがゆえに完全じゃない君の目はそういったものの末路言い換えれば未来を見てしまっているんでしょう未来を見てるのそうよ今はそれ以上は知らなくていいもし君がそういう流れに沿ってしまう時が来るなら必然としてそれなりの理屈を知ることになるでしょう先生何のことだかよくわからないええ分かっちゃダメ今大事なのは一つだけその線は決していたずらに切ってはいけない君の目はものの命を軽くしすぎてしまうからうん先生が言うならしないそれになんだか胸が痛いんだごめんね先生もう二度とあんなことはしないからよかったチキ今の気持ちを絶対に忘れないでそうしていれば君は必ず幸せになれるんだから He uncoils her arms, freeing me from her embrace. The sensation, cold yet warm, fades away. Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you. Fabio, thank you so much. Yes, no, totally start working out. Like, I accidentally didn't finish my workout today, so I totally get that. It was great. As always, though, please, if you are interested in talking at any time, the Discord is the best place to always keep up with me and everybody else that's honestly in this chat. We just hang out in the Discord to have fun, so it's great. So, thank you so much for hanging around, and thank you so much for lurking, too. その問題は私が何とかするわどうやらそれが私がここに来た理由のようだし She heaves a long hot sigh and then smiles at me チキ明日君にとっておきのプレゼントを私が君を以前の生活に戻してあげる The next day, on the seventh day since I met Master, she comes to the field hauling a huge trunk with one hand. Hi, Koreo Kakete Ireba, Mo Miona Rakugakiwa Miena Knarhazu. She hands me an ordinary pair of glasses. Boku, Mewa Waruku no you. Ee Kara Kakeno Sai, Doa Hai Tenai Kara. I do as she says and I put them on. And the moment I do. Whoa. So that's why when he fights, he takes off his glasses. I know so little snippets about Tsukihime, so this makes a lot of sense now. わざわざ姉貴のところのマガンゴロシを奪ってまで作った青崎青子渾身の一品なんだから粗末に扱ったらただじゃおかないからね四季ミスティックアイズあうん大事にするけど先生ってすごいねあれだけ嫌だった線がみんな消えちゃってなんだか魔法みたいだこれそれも当然だって私魔法使いだもん So this is where Tsukihime lore kind of does flow into the rest of like fate lore because the overarching the Nasuverse, it is the same universe um, technically um, in terms of the overarching scale. Um, so Mystic Eyes are like always something that is brought up in the Nasuverse area. So it looks like uh, Shiki's 
like thing he has where he sees the scribbles um, is something that is now being blocked by those glasses, uh, which is pretty cool. A smug grin stretches across her face as she drops the trunk to the ground. でも いらない。またあの線を切っちゃったら先生との約束が守れなくなる。ああ、もう二度と線を切らないって言われか。バカね。あんな約束気軽に破っていいわよ。そうなの？だってすごくいけないことだって言ったじゃないか。ええ、いけ
She picks up the trunk, and without her even saying a word, I know. It's time for us to say our goodbyes. こんな Master's displeasure is readily apparent on her expression. She inflicts my forehead. Bye, She's really leaving. I'm sad, but as her friend, I want to see her off right. Sayonara, Sensei. ピンチの時はまず落ち着いて、その後によく考えること。大丈夫。君なら一人でもちゃんとやっていけるから。She smiles fondly. A gust of wind sweeps through, sending a ripple across the sea of grass. She's gone. Bye bye, 先生. As I say the words, the realization that I'll never see her again sinks in. Left with me are a treasure trove of advice and a strange pair of glasses. In just seven days, I feel like I've learned the most important things of all. As I stand there aimlessly, tears start welling up. I'm such an idiot. All I said was goodbye. Not once did I say thank you. I'm discharged from the hospital soon after. I won't be going back to the oh no, household. Instead, I'm to be taken in by another family. My body has recovered, but there are still lasting symptoms to the tonos. This means I'm defective. I'm no longer needed, but I don't care. Shiki Tono is going to be fine on his own. A new life and a new family are waiting for me. I leave behind the hospital room where I spent my 10th summer. The curtains by my window sway in the breeze, just like always. I take in one, lens gl one last glimpse of the blue sky. As I do, a dry breeze washes over me, spilling the end of the summer. Day one, homecoming one. The tracks take a sudden d dive, leaving the surface behind. Casting an artificial light across the tunnel walls, the train makes its way through the darkness. The car cracks around me. Man-made lights pass by at irregular intervals. The vibration through the seat lulls me into reflection on this short little journey. It's early, 6.33 a.m. 30 minutes have come and gone since I got on this train. That's how long it's been since I said goodbye to the people who took care of me all this time. How I react to this probably says a lot about me as a person. 
I'm sure some people might feel sad and wish they would have stayed longer. Others would accept it without a second thought. I wonder which side I fall on. I realize after a moment that I don't really feel either. I'm the only one sitting on the eight-seater bench. The seats in front of me are empty. There are only a couple of other people on the train, including a sleeping man in a suit on the bench next to mine, and a woman standing in front of the door. It may be early, but it feels particularly empty today. The noise from outside is strangely muted, but maybe I'm just lost in thought. The train vaguely reminds me of a spaceship traveling through the darkness of outer space. No sound can reach it out here. The only things here are my stupid daydreams, the sound of my heart beating, and my memories from an hour ago. It came like a bolt from the blue. Makihisha Toho has died. Shiki Toho is to return to the Tohono household immediately. The first contact I had from my family in seven years. That's how it goes. The Tohono family is where it is final, and I'm still a student, and they pay for all of my expenses, but the choosing to return to the mansion today instead of yesterday was my one act of defiance. I just wanted to stay a little longer at the home where I'd spent so much of my life. It was all I could do for the family that took me in and treated me like their own. Yeah, fuck your real family. What the fuck? Thank you for breakfast. It was delicious. I finish my meal and leave the table before the sun even rises. After taking one final glance at my room, I clap my hands together and thanks. It's not much for all the time I've stayed here, but I don't want to leave anything unsaid. I led a happy life here, and that's what I want to carry away with me. Keiko saw me off alone as I left the Arima household. I asked to leave quietly without waking the others. Thank you for everything. Give my regards to Dad and Miyako for me. Seven years, the woman had, who had acted as my mother in that time looked terribly sad. I never once thought I'd see her like this. Life may be hard at the Tono Mansion, but you'll be okay, understand? Don't overdo it. Make sure to look after your health first and foremost. I take her words of encouragement to heart. My time spent with them was peaceful. I just hope I didn't cause the... Arima's too much trouble during my time with them. It's been seven years, and I've had plenty of time to recover. I'm a lot sturdier than I look, you know. Yes, you're right. The Tonos are quite the unusual family, and you're not one to let that bother you. You've always been a strong boy. She smiles through her sadness, and I smile back. I'm happy that she still considers me to be her child. I think you're giving me a little too much credit. Well, I should get going. Take care, Mom. Goodbye, Shiki. Take care. Keiko knows that I won't be coming back. She sends me off with tears in the corners of her eyes. That was just 40 minutes ago. That moment marked the end of my previous life and the start to my new one. The view outside shifts slowly. We must have crossed the river that separates the suburban Yashigora, Yashirogi and arrived in the city of Shoria. The train begins its return climb to the surface. I can feel the gentle incline. Bright light shines through, piercing my, piercing my eyes, which had grown accustomed to the artificial dimness of the subway. The train sweeps toward the city. The majority of its inhabitants are still asleep. Outside, the air is chilly. A fall morning in the mouth of October. In the mouth. A fall morning in the month of October. The heat of summer is a little more than a faint memory now. I've watched this same view nearly every day for a year and a half now. But this is the last time I'll be taking this train to school. Memories of the past seven years rush by like the scenery outside the window. I survived a terrible injury that would have killed the most ten-year-olds. 
I met the woman that would become my master, my mentor in life. I went to live with the Arima family. And now I'm halfway through my second year. The thing Master feared might happen when we parted never came to pass, and as long as I have these glasses on, I don't have to worry about seeing those lines again. All right, Jerome. Thank you so much for being around. I appreciate it, my dude. Yes, I'm not sure when I'll stream again, but do keep like up with all the socials, keep up with the Discord. It will be announced, I promise. So take care, my man. And so Shiki Tono has led an ordinary through at times difficult life. That all changes today. There's nothing major like feeling I don't belong or anything like that. I just don't feel right going back to the way things were before. Having lived normal life these past few years, the Tono family's way of doing things just seems like a pain. Or at least more trouble than it's worth. <laughs> I'm surprised I was able to handle it when I was a child. The thought of going back to the old-fashioned way of life is daunting to say the least. The train stops at a large station for a few minutes. The local line I'm taking has to wait for the express to pass. The platform is empty. Usually, I would expect to see morning commuters in suits on their way to work, but it's particularly quiet today. So, I like reading on a screen. Um, I have dyslexia, so when it comes to reading in a book, it's very difficult for me to keep, like, my place current, because I will read the same sentence over and over and over again on accident. Um, so that's kind of why I don't like reading very much but i love this kind of reading so i'm all for buying like mahoyo and some other visual novels and reading them on stream for sure so that's definitely something y'all could suggest or throw on my throne wish list one of the two we have switch and steam plug plug wink wink hey welcome street breaker welcome how you been since vegas man how you doing <clears throat> the express passes by on the neighboring rails. Thank you for your patience. The next stop is an announcement I've heard hundreds of times plays. The door closes with a hiss of air. I see that there are four stations left to Shoya Station, the station where my school... <laughs> Thank you for following, Carlos. Thank you so much. A girl wearing my school's uniform slips through the automatic doors as they're close. Her ribbon is green, so she must be a third year. I feel like I've seen her before. The bag she's holding in her hands must contain things for her club activities. Our eyes meet for a moment. The girl continues to stare at me, just when I notice that she's walking closer. The way she smiles has me apologizing almost by reflex. So, Mash is based off of her, I believe, for her original design, because this character's been around since the early 2000s. The girl laughs slightly. I'm distracted by her laughter, and... Whoa, we got a rave! Yo! Thank you! Thank you, Zogran! Holy fuck! Hey guys! 
welcome, welcome. Hey, the doggo raid. Thank you so much. Hey, everybody, welcome. My name is Kisses. I do cozy, comfy streams, and we just finally came back from a hiatus after like eight months. Hi. Um, so we are starting uh, Tsuki Hime today. That is what we are doing. So thank you so much for the raid, Zograd. Uh, hope you've been well. I think you were streaming Legos, right? You were building Legos today, if I remember correctly? How'd that go? Yes, Suki Hime translates to Moon Princess. That is correct. Eight small Lego sets? That's awesome. That's awesome. Yes, I'm glad I'm back too. I I can't promise how back I am, uh, because my I'm I'm gonna be very inconsistent. I won't lie, but that I'm gonna keep y'all up to date. I just want to play things again. Um, I want to be back on stream. I want to play things, and that's why I wanted to dig into this so bad. Yes, if you guys do not follow Zograd, he is an awesome VTuber, one of my very good friends. I hope you're doing well, my friend. It's sad that I'm not seeing you right now during RTX times, but hopefully another convention, so. Ooh, a third tattoo, sweet. Uh, anyway, so we are kind of like just being cozy chill. We are just reading this visual novel, so it's a very chill stream, so. If that's something your cup of tea is, pull up a chair and let Mama Kisses read to you, so. Oh, that's right, you guys are doing hall mat! Yay! I get to see you at hall mat. Yes, yes, hall mat for sure. Hall mat for sure. You get all the hugs. In an instant, my memory is jolted awake. I knew she felt familiar. I've crossed paths with her a number of times. And now that I think about it, there's probably not a person in the whole school who doesn't know CL. No worries, Gold. You have yourself a good night. Thank you so much for stopping by. Bro, whenever are you sober? Like, what the hell? <laughs> it's Hall Matt. You're never sober, so. Shoya High's most revered third year. Happy to offer advice to any distraught first year. Eager to solve the woes of any troubled second year. And quick to save underclassmen from the era of third years. Some students call her the true student council president, considering most people rely on her over to teachers or our actual student council. She even helped me with something just last week. Man, how out of it am I? Ciel is right about how I hate mornings. But thinking about returning home for the first time in seven years must be killing my brain cells. One. Oh, do I finally get choices? Oh my God, I finally get choices. We finally hit the route differences, guys. Oh my God. All right, is Shiki an asshole? Is Shiki a ladies' man? What kind of Shiki are we gonna be? That's the thing. I, one, can't think of a single thing to say. Two, think of something to ask. Three, take the opportunity to admire what's in front of me. Asshole Shiki route. Oh, shit. Uh... <laughs> We'll go with two. Think of something to ask. As a reminder, I am playing this completely. No spoilers. I have no idea what's going on. I don't even know the actual plot of Suki Hime very well. I just know some of the characters, and that's about it. So. A question pops into my mind. Why is she on the train so early? Nani, you're a 
生徒会公募で公園のゴミ拾いがあったでしょあれをちゃちゃっと先ほどまでああ、なおらおめくせんす。シエルは常に running around around helping out somebody or another。早朝から30分だけの奉仕活動だったんですけどね。So my knowledge of Tsukihime mostly comes from just random like Internet comparisons to fate because a lot of people are always like, oh, Nasu just like recolored people's hair and made fate basically、um, with a lot of things. And also, the overarching, like I said, the worlds are connected. So, there's a lot of lore, especially when you start talking Fate Zero and the overarchingness of like, you know, the, de the dead apostles and those kind of things, which do relate to this game, which are briefly touched on in the Fate Zero lore. Thank you, Urobuchi, for bringing those in.、Um, so, there's a lot of like, Overarching themes that are connected, like the Mystic Eyes that are brought up in case files, for example, which is why I freaked out when we started talking about Shiki's and Mystic Eyes. So there's just a lot of like bits and pieces, and then yeah, obviously, multi plot itself. <laughs> Her bag clatters. I had assumed it was full of equipment, but it must be cleaning stuff. She draws closer and looks into my eyes. Her face is so close to mine that I can smell her. Flustered, I, I can't figure out where to look. Yes, so you are a good person. もし折りたたみ式のほうきとかくまでとかなら珍しいなとほうほう私の万能高枝切りばさみも見たいとよろしいそれでしたら放課後いつもの作動部に来てくださいあなたなら大歓迎ですフェイスウッサーチャーハートフォルトスマイルエンドブラッシング I'd like to say something clever or witty, but all I can manage is a simple yes. Yakusokudesio? Ciel's warm smile makes me feel comfortable enough to crack a joke. He adjusts the green ribbon around her neck. For reasons I don't quite understand, she seems to feel strongly about this. As we're both heading the same place, we continue the chat. We talk about last week's midterms. We wonder why the sports festival has been reduced to a one day event. We complain about the cafeteria always serving the same things. After getting into a heated discussion about the plan to restrict phones at school, we tire ourselves out, sigh in unison, and change the subject. We laugh as we trade opinion on the movies we've recently seen. Fifteen minutes go by in a flash. It's easy talking with her. She is, after all, incredibly popular among everyone. I don't want this to end, but we only have a few minutes left before we get to Soya Station. I've tried to bring up something else to talk about. But. Oh, hey, welcome, welcome. Congratulations to Wesrez for sure. Hopefully,、uh, Fan Expo Denver was great. We've forgotten where we were. Ciel and I bow our heads in apology. I forget talking on a train is very impolite in Japan, so no wonder they got scolded. <laughs> With that, our conversation comes to a halt. The friendly cheer that filled the air just moments ago has vanished. 
it's quickly replaced by the familiar city silence, that cold space in which everyone is a stranger. The train pulls into Shoya Station. It's just before 7 a.m. I left for school a bit early today so that the town hasn't quite woken up yet. It's quiet right now, but in all about an hour, it'll be bustling with traffic and commuters. <laughs> As CL shares this odd observation, I notice how heavy her bag looks. Nimotsu, go to school. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I'm going to be at the place I'm going to be, so I'm going to be here. She smiles a goodbye and waves as she runs off. Her li- Her little legs- Her little? Her little legs carry her so swiftly, I almost expect a comical whoosh. Not to be outdone, I feel an urge to start running too, but there's really no reason for me to hurry. I probably shouldn't be running anyways, considering my condition. I start working towards school at my usual pace. But just as I set off, the girl from before emerges from the ticket gates. She passes by briskly, slowly only to share a few choice words. <laughs> And with that, she stalks off. I'm stuck dumb by the rudeness. It seems I've made an enemy. I should be careful the next time I have a conversation on a train. I guess I said something that upsets her. Even so... It was a regular hit-and-run scolding. I make my way to school, my steps heavier than usual. It's just about seven when the main entrance to the school comes into view. Students hurry through the gates to their club activities. They must be trying to make the most of their time before homeroom starts at eight. Shoya Municipal High School, an old school celebrating 40 years since its founding. Our college admission rate isn't bad, our clubs do fine, and the rules aren't particularly strict. It's as normal a school as you can find. The only complaint male students have is that their uniforms are too old-fashioned, but the school doesn't pay much attention to it. As for the girls, their uniforms were changed three years ago. Apparently the school has worried that keeping the older sailor uniforms will lead to a drop in enrollment. Something feels out of place on my usual walk to school. Things feel busier than usual. Pale-faced teachers rush to the facility room. A black car I've never seen before is parked in the parking lot. There's a chill in the air. Images flash through my mind. A sparsely attended funeral. A cold black of hairs. I sigh at my own dark thoughts. Trying to shake off the uneasy feeling growing inside me, I head for the classroom. There's no one else here. I sit in my chair and kill time until homeroom begins. More people get, begin to fill the room as I get in some studying. <laughs> No, I didn't shoot off any fireworks. I watched a lot, though. The students of 2C get along well compared to the other classes. We're particularly casual with each other before taking our seats. I catch up with classmates who had just ended their club activities. We go through your typical laundry list of things from last night's ancient news to stuff that happened just minutes ago at school. We're just talking to pass the time, but this is an important morning ritual of ours. A warm-up exercise to start off the day. We'd only tire ourselves out if we're tired 
if we if we tried to have real conversations about everything, especially in this age of information. The mood in the classroom changes suddenly. Lively chatter dies down to a whisper. Crude remarks you wouldn't expect to hear among this otherwise harmonious bunch cut through the tranquility. I don't even need to turn around to know who it is. Only one person could do this to a room. Jeez, good morning, Megan. See, look, there's the sh uh, the um the Shiro lookalike for this franchise. Yep, only him. A delinquent with little respect for the sanctity of our school. むしろ朝から来てやってんのに、おはようの言葉もなしですか。むしろ朝から行ってくれてありがとうぐらいの気持ちはないのですか。ないよ。朝から来いかを見て元なりしてるだけ。そもそもありがとうとかないし、お前の
あっちには体力ある時しか顔を出したくねえわけ物騒おおどうのだって知ってんだろ例のあれ派手に出回ってる通り魔事件の話だよ駅前のセンター街夜になると警官も巡回しているしなそっかそんな話もあったっけ Here in Ar Ariko talk about it reminds me the going the goings on in Shoya hadn't bothered me when I was living several stations away with the Arima family it was all over the news I seem to remember なんだっけすごく低俗な売り文句だったけど深夜の通り魔事件だっけ連続猟奇殺人事件な被害者は大抵若い女で2日前に発見された仏さんで8人目かつ全員の喉元にバツの字の傷跡があるとかないとか Weird My mind can't even picture something like that 違うよ犬井君殺されちゃった人はみんな体内の血液が著しく失われているだよ Yumizuka pokes her head out and corrects us, likely drawn by how loud we are. Ah, so that's so that's Gendai no cute kids cut to you, Midas that the monare. Thank you, Yumizuka. Oh, hi, Osan. Uh, Inai Kumo, hi, yo. Eh, to Zide ni Uto, Gaisho ni wa Kojin Sagate, Kids ga mataku no i boy to Son Show no Hageshi type ni wa Koreteru, datta kana. 詳しいんだね、弓塚さんそ、そんなことないよこの町で起きている事件なんだもんニュースを見てれば嫌でも覚えちゃうことだと思うとま、そういうことだよ、トノいくら俺でもな夜中に殺人犯が出歩いているうちは夜遊びなんざしねっての最近は真面目に家の中で夜更かししてるわけなんだ、そんな理由だったのかまともすぎて逆に意外だ殺人犯に怯えて家にこもるなんてお前らしくもないらしくないじゃねえよ普通は殺人犯に怯えるだろうこっちはやる気がねえのにあっちだけやる気満々とか不意打ちにも程がある絶対にごめんだね俺はまだ人生棒に振りたくねえああそっかそうだよな狙われたらとことんまで付き合うしかないってことだもんなお前ねそこは逃げるって選択肢はねえのなんでとことんまで付き合うんだよだって逃げられないんじゃないのかそういう場合っていい遠野に振った俺がアホだった実際の話俺も殺人犯は気にしてねああいうのはほら天才だろ出会っちまう方に運がない俺が街に出ないのはもっと現実的な理由でさ最近北口駅前で新手のバカどもが湧いてんだよ正直顔も見たくねえ The North Exit located on the opposite side of the station from the business district in downtown Shoya a bustling hub that never sleeps Ariko lives on the north side of the station himself these Fools must be pretty bad if he's going to such lengths to avoid them. Don't know, Kita Kotoneka. Dokyo Damashi no Yona Mono. She meets no Irigu Chikarachikado ni Haite, Okuma de Skereba Taikin got any high root the Yatsu. So Renora, what does she more Kita Koto Arukedo? So let the Tada no Kaidan Janakoto? Ah, Kekko Mukashkara, Toshiden sets that Tarashi. それを儲け話っぽく仕立てて利用してるバカどもがいるんだよどっから流れてきた新参者か知んねえがおかげで北口の空気の悪さはシャレにならねえ俺基本的に痛いの嫌だしあんだけ派手にやってればポリも動くだろうし連中が捕まるのでしばらく自重して家にこもってんのよ An urban legend on the north side of the station I guess I hadn't heard of it since I didn't live nearby Though I suppose it'll be my problem too starting today. Nanda, Hanusina. Satewa Arika? 
朝から貧血でぶっ倒れたのかいや今朝はまだ大丈夫心配してくれるのはありがたいんだけどねそう四六時中貧血を起こしてたら体が持たないよまあそりゃもっともだ遠野が大丈夫だって言うんならまあ大丈夫なんだろうよほら授業が始まるぞ早く席に戻って寝ろはいよとそうそう今日の昼飯な食堂でするからな驚きの特別ゲストをお呼びしているので楽しみにしてやがれ Ariko laughs suspiciously as he solders back to his teeth. So, let's go, Tono. Oh, oh. Yumizuka san mo tsukiyawase te wari katta ne. She walks back to her desk, her footsteps light as a feather. Five minutes after the bell for homeroom, and our teacher still hasn't arrived. Just as homeroom is about to end, the teacher next door drops by to tell us that Miss Toyama won't be coming today. Someone sounds like they just won the lottery. Miss Toyama is our math teacher. With her absence, we'll have free study instead. Once you finish the worksheet you're given, you're free to spend the rest of the time however you want. Some use the time to study, and others just kill time. I start on my worksheet. I actually have no problem with studying. I quit going to after school lessons as a child, but after, but that was after I was told getting into a good school would be impossible for someone with my condition. Whether you choose to go to college or straight into the workforce, knowledge is never a bad thing to have. I raise my head after solving a few problems and look over to the students near the hallway. I can only hear bits and pieces of their conversation sitting as far away from them as I am. Ooh, was the teacher murdered? Something certainly feels wrong. I think knitting my eyebrows. I brace myself for what's coming. As familiar as I am with this feeling, I find myself not wanting to accept it. I hold my breath in anticipation for the words to come. だからさ、富山、昨日死んだらしいよ。I close my eyes, trying to hold back a headache. The morning passes without the rumor about Miss Toya. Toyama spreading too much further. The classroom is a mess now that it's lunch. Some go to the cafeteria, others to the courtyard, while st still others stay in the room and open their lunch boxes at their desk. What should I do for lunch? Okay, so I have choices. Um, I haven't been able to figure out how to save. Nope, still just that. Um, Oh, that's a rewind. Okay. So that was rewind. Uh, that's auto button. Okay, I have no idea how to save this game, quite frankly. So hopefully it'll give me save choices. Uh, so what should I do for lunch? I'll meet up with Mariko in the cafeteria. I'll stay in the classroom. I'll go out into the hallway for now. Hmm. You know, I'm, I'm curious what his special guest was, so let's go uh, bother him. Arhiko disappeared after fourth period. He must be saving seats in the cafeteria. I never promised Arhiko that I'd go to the cafeteria with him, but there's no real reason to ditch him either. I might as well spend lunch there today.
The cafeteria looks almost full. The line is so long it would possibly take 10 minutes just to get your order taken. I gaze at the students waiting for their order receipts in hands as I make my way to the table. So, Arihiko, who is the guest? Hmm. So, it's still in the middle of the day. It's been a long time in the morning. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Arigo hurries out of the cafeteria, leaving his curry udon behind. I've ordered chikara udon for myself. I hope he gets back before my noodles get soggy. Senpai, どっか行っちまったらしい。ゲストって三年生だったのか。ああ、面白い先輩だな。ここ数日アタックしてようやくランチご一緒ツアーまで取り付けたんだよ。Press Y to pull up the menu. Ah, thank you. I appreciate that. All right, first time text, previously read text, auto mode advanced page speed, auto mode wait speed, auto skip cleared scenes, all text read only, fade in, fade out, obviously English, okay. Sound sounds good. Interrupt voices on advancing text. Ah, turn that off because I want that to continue reading if I click skip again. Shiki, CL. We don't know these people's names. That's nice that they、uh, haven't spoiled that yet. Controls, confirm advanced text, cancel skip mode, system menu, log as X, control panel. Yeah, Flowchart probably is the way to unlock all the different things. I'll go in there in a second. Skip mode, auto mode, fast forward, rewind. Okay. Whoop. English. Hello, chart. Yep. So this was my second choice, right? And then it led me here. And then I am currently here. So we get our chapters with like all different choices. Because since it's a visual novel, Uh, we could go in and see all the different routes. So I like that they have this with all the different choices so that you can get your dead ends and that kind of fun stuff. So. And it looks like that didn't matter. It might be like a point system thing. Because、uh, I know in the original Fate VN, there was a point system thing, even if a choice, quote unquote, didn't matter. Because that was how you dictated your endings, was how many points you got per girl. So,、uh, and yes, I have totally been a heathen and broken pasta to fit into the pot. I'm sure there's plenty of Otami games.、Um, quite frankly, I don't mind finding all the harem games with women, so. I like women too.、Right. So I saved it. Just in case. Kyoa Hokani Yaksoku got the Kitatoka de, got Koju Hashima Tirashi. Isogashi Hitomitaidane, no. Again, I'm all for different visual novel type games like this, so feel free to, like I said again, throw them at my throne. Isogashi <laughs> Tayuka. 全自動マッサージ機みたいな人だ。アヒカ breaks apart from his disposable chopsticks and looks dejected.、ま、今回は仕方ないよな。じゃいただきますと。はい、いただきます。We both dig into our udon. A lot of irons in the fire. What a strange way to describe someone. Suffice to say that my curiosity has been piqued. But I'll ask him more about that later. Honto no tokoro, don't know. Oh, 
Well, thank you so much for the compliment there, Prince. I really appreciate that. Thank you. I asked Ayako as I slurp my chikara noodle. Ich Ichiko is Ahiko's older sister who works full time. She's a bit of a mystery, but she's always taking good care of us. まあ、そう、どの今日から実家に戻るのかそうだけど、その話したっけしてねえよ。俺は姉貴から聞いただけ。それでだな。どうのがブルー入ってないか、ちょっと確認したくなってな。Oh, ご期待に添えず申し訳ない。本当、アリヒコは暇人だな。暇人だからゴシップ好きなんですよ。どうのさ、小学生の自分からよそに預けられてたんだろ。どんな理由かは知らないが、それから7年も経つんだ。なんで
Yeah, I don't blame you. That's why I did a stream earlier today, because I also work tomorrow. So you have yourself a good night, Prince. Thank you again for spreading the positivity and staying in and chatting, so. Ahiko laughs in an exaggerated manner. The way Ahiko never takes anything seriously is one of his best qualities. The truth is, my father and I had been on a bad terms long before the car accident and hospitalization. The Tono family is a distinguished household dating back centuries, with customs many different to those of a regular family. I don't care, 130 over three years is a lot, bro. That's a lot. Like, holy fucking shit. It is a lot. And I'm flabbergasted by the support, and I appreciate every single bit of it. I really do. I need to mail your shirt still. I'm sorry about that. Packages have been super delayed. That's something I should have took care of this weekend instead of streaming, so... <laughs> My childhood memories are in an, of an enormous old house and the oppressive, antiquated practices of the family within. The Tana family is wealthy, with shares in a wide variety of companies. My father, Maki Hasha Tono, wasn't much of a businessman, but the assets he inherited from my grandfather were more than enough to help his businesses make a fortune. A mansion from another era. A high-class lifestyle that valued history and decorum. Any child would have found life in that mansion unbearably dull. Yes, I will definitely check my P.O. box the moment I am near it. So when I was told to go live with the Arimas, I had no qualms about leaving my real family behind. I think it was the best outcome I could have asked for. I got along well with the Arimas. Keiko and Fumim Omi treated me no differently than I had been their child by birth. I had always wanted to be part of a normal family, and living with the Arimas gave me that opportunity. I don't have any regrets there. With one exception, my sister. Akiha. She was a year younger than me, and I left her behind at the Tono Manor. I wonder if Akiha resents me. I mean, why wouldn't she? I left her in that giant, lonesome house with no one for company, and that pig-headed old man. It's not hard to imagine that Akiha thinks of me, of the brother who ran away from it all. So, that's right. That's right. I'm going to get out of the way. I'm going to get out of the way. I'm going to get out of the way. I'm going to get out of the yeah, I don't have a good answer for it myself. I think in the end, it may have just been a lot of unfortunate coincidences. I was unlucky. Ari... Arihiko picks up his bowl of, with both hands and drinks down the broth. Lunch always feels so short. I follow Arihiko's example and quickly down the rest of my food. School comes to an end for the day. I look out over the schoolyard from my seat, unable to wheel myself back to the mansion. The classroom, dyed a red-orange by the sunset, looks like a watercolor painting. It makes my eyes throb a little. There's something about vermilion that's unsettling. As the hue pierces my eyes, I'm hit with a wave of nausea. I guess I have trouble with anything that reminds me of blood. The reality is, I've grown weak to it. Seven years ago, I was on the verge of death. I was caught in a terrible accident. A building collapsed. My wounds were so severe that most people thought I didn't have a chance. Luckily for me, all of my injuries were focused in one place and the doctors were able to get to me fast. It almost feel like it happened to someone else. Thinking back like that, there's a lot I still don't know about it. 
Something struck my chest with such force that it impaled me, and I passed out immediately, like a machine that had its plug pulled. All I remember after that is the pain and the cold, and I woke up and I was in a hospital bed. The scar still remains on my chest. From what they told me, not only hit my back hard, but a piece of glass pierced my chest as well. That's how I got the burn-like scars in my chest and back. When I was finally able to look at the wounds, I almost passed out from the sight of them. Ever since then, I had prone to bouts of anemia. i am caused a lot of trouble for people around me, collapsing suddenly all the time. I assume that's why Makihisha Tono, my father, decided that I wasn't healthy enough to be his heir. I hold down the urge to vomit. I breathe deeply, waiting for the needling in my eyes to subside. A mark of death, hidden under my school uniform. I've been able to see the lines ever since the accident. It's only thanks to the glasses Master gave me that I've kept some semblance of a normal life. Without them, I'm sure I would have gone mad a long time ago. Keiko was worried that the Tonos weren't normal when we said goodbyes this morning, but there's no need. The reason being... I'm hardly normal myself. I push my glasses back to the bridge of my nose and grab my bag. I can't stay in the classroom forever. I... Yeah, I don't want to go home either. Honestly, I'm still not quite ready to go back. I don't really have anything to do, but maybe wander around the school will help my e e help me ease my nerves. Come to think of it, I made plans with someone this morning. It must be fate that I remember that at this exact moment. I've still got time before the school locks up. I might as well check out the tea ceremony room. The tea ceremony club is hidden at the end of the student club's annex. It took me about 10 minutes to find this place. Far longer than I expected. It didn't help that nobody knew anything about the tea ceremony club. I ended up going to the faculty room myself and looking it up on the floor plan, and now I'm here. Sorry. I knock on the sliding door as I call out. A moment later... A face I know all too well emerges. ちょうど I'm a little taken aback by CL's eagerness, but I did come here just to see her. I step into the tea sound in Mary room. The room is far more authentic than I thought it would be. It's actually a full-on Japanese-style room. Uchinogakoniこんな教室があったなんて知らなかった。完全に趣味の部屋じゃないか。私もそう思います。形式上は部活動のためということになってましたが、校長先生の趣味でしょうね。もっとも私が入るまでは使われていなかったようですが。She walks onto the mats ahead of me. With a clatter of porcelain, she begins preparing the tea. That's really suspicious. Amenohini 
先生方にお願いして茶道部を再開させていただいたんです部員はまだ私一人なので5人揃うまでの仮運転ではありますけど Thank you for following there, Grandpa. Thank you. So, 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 そのおかげで放課後とか休み時間とかこんな風に自由に物質を使わせてもらっているんですよ。遠野くんも何かありましたらぜひ。私放課後は大抵ここにいますから。そ,そうなんですか。It's as if she's using the clubroom as her own private space, like a secret hideout. Though I'm flattered by Seal's invitation, I wonder how this will help with the r i g h t Reveal of the tea, revival of the tea ceremony club. Kedo, Tono Kumo Monozuki Nandesne. Tashkani also so you are s h i m a s h a k e d o a r i d a k e d e k o k o m a d e s h i o h a k o n d e k u r e d e n a n Her teasing causes the back of my neck to grow hot. I wasn't trying to hit on her. I, I just figured I'd stop by, but as I formed my reply, I realized I'm making excuses. Oh, Honto. 特に理由はなかったんですけど。But she does have a good point. I'm not usually the sort of person to take someone up on this kind of invitation. Come to think of it, why did I come here? と、これは失礼。強くかけすぎちゃいましたか。She mumbles to herself and claps her hands. <laughs> I squ. Went against the red afternoon sun pouring through the windows. While I was busy admiring the room's decor, Seal took some floor cushions out of the closet and laid them out on the tatami mats. It looks like we're going to have an actual tea ceremony. Anosa senpai. Ore koyu saho nigate nan deskedo. Sako wa mondai naku. Watashi datte nagashitate mai gurai shika shirimasen yo. トーノくんはどうぞ自由に楽にしてください。On the table are a teapot and teacups, as well as some snacks to go with the tea. The snacks are nothing fancy, prepackaged mini cakes and rice crackers that can be found at any convenience store. I guess it's really just as a place to drink tea and chat. 気軽におしゃべりするだけなんですから、堅苦しいのはなしにしましょう。そういうのは楽しくありませんからね。正座とかしないで足を崩しちゃってもいいですよ。She smiles softly as she pours two cups of tea. おおらかなんだか。よくわからない人ですね、先輩は。I take the cup of tea and bring it to my mouth. I had no part in it. But the Arimas ran a tea ceremony school. Growing up in their household, I became a quite accustomed to spending time drinking tea in a room just like this. I drink slowly, savoring my time here as much as the tea. I hope so. I really hope so. And then I notice it. Ciel is staring at me with an uneasy look on her face. What did you do, Mr. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. なんだか、トーノくんの方が落ち着いてるなって、ちょっと驚いてました。いや、うちはもともと厳しい家だったから、こういうのに慣れているだけです。それより、先輩、話がしたかったって、何ですかはい、朝のお礼をまだしていなかったので、電車で迷惑をかけてしまったでしょう。だからそのお詫びとしてこうしてお世話をしてあげたいなって思ってたんです。Theo smiles, not realize, not seeming to realize what she's just said. All right, Corona, you have yourself a good night. Thank you for staying in as long as you have. And I appreciate it, my dude. So have a good one. お,お世話ってなんか日本語の使い方間違ってるよ、先輩。
そうですかえー、っと礼を尽くしておもてなしをすることをお世話をする言わない間違いではないと思うけどちょっと正しくないというかそそうでしたかごめんなさいにわか知識でおかしなことを言ってしまってやっぱり心の伴わない作法はいけませんね Her shoulders slumped dejectedly. Now I feel bad for making her feel bad. Kokoro Tomonate Mastayo. Shojikin Yuto Ureshkata des Saho a Mazu Kokoro Karatomo Yushi Motenas Gao no Kimotiga Homono Nara Sasaina Machinante. What I tobacer Hanasta to Mimas. I can't help but try to cheer her up. Sia looks me right in the eyes. She's so focused on me that I feel like I'm some sort of rare specimen at the zoo. Senpai? Maybe I'm just not used to it, but being stared at like this is incredibly awkward. Tono-kun, you're really nice to me. I'm a little older than me, but I'm a little older than me. I'm a little older than me. Ciel glares at me. For the second time, I find myself confused about why she acts the way she does. Sorry, sir. Nanda ka era so na even de shita ne. Ima no. Hi. An mari ni namaiki nan de. Fukaku ni mo kandou shita imashita. Toshi shita no otoko no ko ni shite yarareru no te. Nanda ka ki hazukashi desu ne. Despite her words, Ciel smiles bashfully. This means she's not angry, right? Watashi. ガゼントーノくんのことが知りたくなっちゃいました。何でもいいですから、話してくれると嬉しいです。いいですけど、俺の話なんかしてもつまらないですよ、先輩。She replies with a smile, letting me know that she doesn't mind. I guess I have no choice. I don't know if this will satisfy her curiosity, but maybe I can talk about things that have happened at school. Cute. I ended up talking for about an hour. It was fun, and Ciel was attentive the whole time. Still, it's not something I'm used to. I suddenly feel very tired. Her favorite part seemed to be my story about the school trip in middle school. Apparently, she didn't get one, as she caught the flu the day before and had to miss it. その頃のトーノくんも見てみたかったです。Those words paired with that smile would make just about anyone turn red. I could keep talking to CL forever, but the sun is beginning to set. As much as I want to stay, I eventually have to excuse myself and leave the tea ceremony room. My path home is different from the one I took yesterday. It leads me from a compact, middle-class neighborhood to one where large, expensive houses line the street. Every step brings me closer to the Tono Mansion. The area isn't completely unfamiliar to me. It may have been seven years ago, but I have vague memories of this place from when I was ten. It's a strange feeling. This path feels both new and familiar at the same time. I climb up a long hill. The rows of the houses disappear from view. The smell of greenery tickles my nostrils. I may be in the middle of the city, but this place feels anything but modern. Almost everything from here on is owned by the Tono Estate, the mansion I've lived in until the age of 10. The only things left for me are these old memories and relatives I never got along with. Though, now, only one close relative remains in the mansion. Makihasha Tono, the father that hated me so much, passed away the other day. My mother died from an illness the year Akiha was born, so the only Tonos left will be my sister and I. 
As the eldest son, I would have taken over as the head of the family, but I no longer have that right. Being a Tono heir means restricted, restrictive, and cloistered childhood. I don't know how many times I was told off by my father for trying to escape all that. That's why when I was left a defective after my accident, he took the opportunity to cast me out. I'm sure he felt that even though I was the eldest, he couldn't leave the family in the hands of someone who could kill over dead any moment. To my father's surprise, I recovered, but Akiha had already been chosen as the next heir of the Tono family. Akiha had been raised as the prized daughter of the Tono, but my, after my accident, she had to endure a harsher education befitting her new station. We played together in the gardens until I was ten, and I've seen her, but I haven't seen her once since then. And now, it's been seven years. I wonder how the Tono Mansion has changed. I won't have to wonder for much longer. If anything should come to mind now, it would be... I'm gonna save here. If anything should come to mind now, it would be... My father, my sister, someone else I... My sister. Let's think about my sister. But my sister, Akiha. Akiha visited me a number of times when I first moved in with the Arimas. I wasn't able to see her because of my daily hospital visits, and once she started staying in the dorms at the girls' academy, we only ever exchanged a few letters. Unlike Akiha, I had been expelled from the family. That's why I was able to live as freely as I have. After seven years, my sister and I must have very little in common. Honestly, I don't really have any desire to go back to the Tono Mansion, except Akiha is there. When we were children, Akiha was, quite, was a quiet girl who always looked meek and timid. She'd follow me around wherever I went. With her long black hair and fine dresses, she looked like a princess out of a fairy tale, locked in some tower awaiting rescue. I know I have no right to just slip back into being a big brother now, and I've worried about Akiha these seven years. She was the first thing I thought of when I learned of Makihasha's death. All alone in that massive house after her father's death, more than anything I felt responsible because my carefree lifestyle had forced the burden of the Tono family onto her. I think the reason I agreed to return to the manor was to make amends for leaving Akiha behind. The main gate is shut tight. I remember thinking it was big when I was a child, but after living in a normal house, I realized just how massive this place is. The mansion sits on a high hill overlooking the city, giving the Tonos a view of all their control. The grounds alone are bigger than my high school, including the forest behind the manor, and it's easily triple the size. Surrounding the perimeter is a wall of trees and a long fence preventing outsiders from peering inside. The entrance at the main gate is closed, turning away those who would seek entry. Next to the massive gate for cars to pass through, there's a smaller door for people. I hesitate for a moment before pressing the call button. It doesn't make any noise as I push it. After a few seconds, the lock opens with a welcoming click. This door was a new door. It was a new door. It was a new door. It was a new door. I open the heavy door and pass through the stone gate. The door gives a satisfying clunk behind me, locking itself again. I make my way along a gentling sloped path deeper into the grounds. The walkway, surrounded by tall trees, feels almost like a tunnel. It stretches 40 meters east, then turns at 90 degrees angle to the north. Memories flood back with each step I take. I know this path. I've walked it many times. Just a little further. I reach the corner. My feet guide me towards the north. The rest of my body following closely behind, then on the left.
The Tono Mansion. It's great white walls standing at attention. Hey, right, I gotta say something. What is it with Nasu verse character protagonists growing up in a mansion? First, we have Shiro living in his giant Japanese mansion that Kiritsugu had as his hideaway lair, right? Ilya being in her giant fucking castle. And now we have Shiki in this fucking mansion? I, I don't know, but like, Nasu, were you rich? Like, I don't know much about Nasu's personal life and upbringing. I just know that he met Takahashi in high school. I, yeah, it's just weird to me that, you know, there's so many big elaborate things, so. A sigh escapes my lips in a combination of wonder and resignation. Resignation. The mansion looks just like it did back then. According to my father, the building has been the same since my grandfather inherited it from his grandfather, though it was repaired once after the war. I'm not sure, quite frankly. I know that the, um, the Emiya estate is based on an actual house. Like, you could actually visit it. So that's really cool. This place, I have no idea. Uh, Ilya's castle is based off of a castle in Germany, actually, so... Hey there! Welcome to the chat there, Breeze! This is a holy ground for a Makihasha. No, for all those related to the Tonos. Oh yeah, I would love to do the Fate Stay Night tour. Like, there are literally places that you can go see. They're all, like, photo for photo. I remember seeing different adults vying for the peace of it, currying favor with the old man while staying at the mansion for the yearly family meeting. They were all extremely successful business people with their own fancy homes, but for whatever reason they were obsessed with the Tono Manor. Getting to live there must have been a point of pride for them. It all sounds ridiculous, it's just a big fancy house to me, I've never been comfortable with being privileged. Hey Seth, th welcome, welcome to the chat! Thank you for the follow, I really appreciate it. Oh yeah, there's plenty of people who do full cosplay at those places, it's great. <laughs> there's no going back now. A small doorbell is placed next to the comparably small, huge double doors. I shake off my nerves and ring the bell. There is no familiar ding-dong. The heavy silence continues for a few seconds. The sound of hurried footsteps comes from the other side of the doors. Yes, the doors swing open with surprising ease for their size. I narrow my eyes at the waning afternoon lights Screaming through the windows, I had meant to prepare myself for the sight, but my breath catches as I look over the gigantic lobby. What astonishing, beautiful architecture. It feels like I've traveled to a different country in a different time. The look of the mansion is so old-fashioned. Even the very air itself seems foreign. Even so, the lobby still feels very familiar. It's the maid! I find myself frozen as the girl who answered the door stands before me, dressed in traditional attire. The girl, wearing an apron over her kimono, smiles brightly. I find myself speechless at this unexpected welcome. I was expecting the stony-faced man who served as my father's assistant and butler to be the one who greeted me. Hmm? The girl tilts her head, likely wondering at the reason for my hesitance. Shiki-sama...ですよね?はい...様っていうのは...その...余計だけど...ですよね?もう...脅かさないでください! <laughs> The 
The girl wags her finger like a mother admonishing her child. She seems genuinely upset with me for having worried her, yet even so, her smile never fades, nor does the warmth emanating from her. An apron draped over her kimono, coming to greet me and calling me master. That must mean... The girl answers my questions with a smile. The girl motions for me to follow her and begins walking. We move towards the hallway on the east side of the lobby next to the giant staircase. I seem to remember that the parlor is just inside the hallway. I... Save... I want to know her name because I can't remember which one she is. I decided to call out to her and ask her name. I can't just be calling her Miss Housekeeper the whole time. I call out to her. The kimono clad girl looks at me surprised. Ah, it's Kohaku. Okay, that's one of the twins. Got it. The girl, Kohaku, gives a slight bow and smile. It's a lovely kind of gesture, somehow evocate, evocative of a bud blooming into a flower. The girl leads me to the parlor. The parlor looks so much more fancier compared to what I remember. It's like seeing it for the first time. Either I'm just too used to how things were with the Arima family, or they've made this room even more extra vagant since I was last here. Extravagant. Oh my god, I can't read. Regardless, this place feels like someone else's home. I look around the parlor restlessly. <laughs> Flustered, I lowered myself onto the sofa. It's pathetic how overwhelmed I've become from simply returning home. The kimono-clad girl makes her way over to a cart in the corner of the room and pours a cup of tea from it. She places the tea on a tray and carries it over to me. I'm having a lot of tea, young man. Hey, Kobe. Welcome. Welcome to the chat, my dude. How have you been? I can't help but feel a sense of embarrassment being waited on with such warm smile. I think that's just who I am, rather than something that comes from living with a more modest family. Oh, the game's good so far. I'm getting a lot of bits and pieces pieced together from what I do know of Tsukihime, and we're getting a lot of character introductions because this is still chapter one, so this is still- but this is pretty good writing so far. それまでお屋敷の中を見て回るのもよろしいかと。いいんですか。勝手に歩き回って。何をおっしゃいますやら。ここは式様のお家です。勝手も何もございません。あ、いえ。でも二階はちょっと行けませんね。秋葉様がい
My mothering echoes sadly through the extravagant parlor. Do I stay here sitting nervously, or do I take a look around the manor? I mean, she said I could walk around. Ten minutes. Ten minutes, huh? Maybe I'll take a look around if I have that much time. I should have time to look around the east wing at the very least. I rise up from the couch. I think I remember the rec room had a billiards table and a dartboard in the west wing. A voice calls out the moment I step into the lobby. I turn to the giant staircase to find a strange man dressed head to toe in black. This ain't ominous. Konnichiwa, Shiki-kun. Tou no tei ni yokoso. Toyu no wa machigai ka. Kimi no wai okaeri toyu no mo tadashikan. The man, who, based on his voice, I assumed is in his 30s, descends the stairs calmly. There is not a trace of color on him. His entire body is wrapped in black bandages. He looks like he stepped straight out of a mystery novel. An... Anata? Hmm? Do you not remember? Ah, that's right. I don't know this character's name. I don't know this Was there a branch family of that name? More importantly, this man.慣れ Goto Saiki gives a self-deprecating laugh as he lifts his left hand up to shield his eyes. The glare from the sunlight must be too bright for him. しかし if you're not much for social in the Discord, I totally understand, Kobe. It's not like, oh, you have to join the Discord, so I totally get that. So no worries, my man. Just glad to see you're here. Datsuraku! So, Datsuraku da. Kimi wa goryoshin kara no toshi o nagesute, mizukara no gimu o hoki shita datsuraku shi da. Ni mo kakawarazu, kou shite yashiki ni modori, Akiha no ani to shite furumao to shite. I resist the urge to confront him. The contempt in Goto's eyes is obvious, but there's no reason to escalate things further. Besides, he isn't wrong.家族の話にそんな言葉を使うあなたこそ恥ずかしいとは思わないんですか家族の話だからこそ的確な言葉を選んだんだがね養育は一族の将来への投資だ死生の人間はともかく選ばれた血筋尊い家計において個人の自由は
君は当野の子でありながらそれを理解していなかったな。秋葉とは似ても似つかぬ三流だ。まあ、一度地に落ちていながら帰ってくる高眼さだけは一流と言えなくもないよね。I'll say I get burned out on social media a lot. Like, there's a reason why when I was、um, doing my trip to Jackie's wedding, I kind of stopped posting for like two weeks. I was just so tired. <laughs> Very tired. So I get it. させてしまったようだが、私は君の期間に反対はしていない。どちらかというと賛成派だし、そもそも遠のけ現当主の決定でもある。よそ者である私に、どこを言えることでもないだろう。Nothing personal, huh? This felt very much like an attack, thank you, sir. An outsider. He isn't part of a branch family. 最近は。祖父の代から遠野家とは対等の付き合いをしている現代風に言うとビジネスパートナーというやつだ今日は商談に来ただけでね長引いてしまったが色良い返事をもらえて上機嫌で帰るところだったのさあこの陰気な姿でせっかくの気境に水をさすのも忍びない今日はこの辺りで失礼するよ。The bandaged man go to a psyche, passes by me, walks toward the entrance, all the while his lips curled in a sarcastic smile. I bite my lip thinking of the word psyche used. Failure. He's right. The word describes my place in this house perfectly. Regardless, I should go back to the parlor and just calm down. I'll walk around later. I don't want to ruin my first meeting with Akiha in seven years by feeling like this. The girl returns exactly ten minutes later. Shiki-sama. 何かお気に障ることでもありました She must be able to tell that、uh, go to Psyche's words have affected me. いや、何でもないんです。ちょっとケオされているだけで。あ、お茶、ありがとうございました。美味しかったです。<笑>お上手ですね。こちらこそお褒めいただきありがとうございます。She smiles bashfully, brightening the room. と、それより本題ですね。お待たせいたしました。秋葉様のご用事がお済みになりましたので、執務室においでください。We ascend the large staircase in the lobby to the second floor. Akiha's office, the heart of the Tono family. I was never allowed to enter Maki... Makihisha's... Makihisha's office when I was a child. Of... Room occupied by each generation's family head. And that room now belongs to my sister. In stark contrast to the brightly white of the parlor, the office is colored a dark red. Luxurious curtains line the windows, a deep crimson carpet immaculately kept in place on the floor. The refined air in the room to, is thick with a sense of history. This is where Makihisa Tohono once proceeded as the head of the family, and now it's where Akiha will carry the burden forward. Shiki sama o t s u r e s h i m a s h i t a Gokuro sama. Shigoto ni modot de iwa yo, Kohaku. Hi. それでは失礼いたしますね。コハクがすみやすいバーボーエクセディングのルーム。The only person left in the room are myself and two girls I don't recognize.
セスター久しぶりですね兄さん The dark haired girl casts a dignified gaze at me as she speaks My head is blank The gears in my brain have stopped turning All I manage to do is nod and agree I'm pathetic Though I suppose it may be understandable She looks so different from how I remember her 兄さん何かこの部屋に不審な点でも The black haired girl narrows her eyes as if she were as if she were measuring up a stranger. Yeah. Nothing coherent escapes my lips as my mind struggles to catch up. I'm still trying to figure out if she's really my sister or not, though she's clearly already accepted who I am. She frowns. Her words seem to have a more bite to them than I expected. Yeah, the condition is not so bad. Akiha has changed so much, I was surprised. I was surprised to see her for seven years. I was just a growing child. But it's not so bad. いつまでも以前のままだと思っていたんですか兄さんはいやそれは I, I stammer crushed under the weight of her quiet ferocity I feel bad after all this time it hadn't even occurred to me to think about how Akiha may have changed I I had only thought of her as a little girl who used to follow me around. The last seven years hadn't only been hard on me. I'm an idiot for it to only sink in now that she's right here in front of me. Clear words finally filter their way out. Akiha speaks coldly, her eyes closed. Well, I had expected something like this. She must resent me for leaving the family. A silence falls over us as we take a second to study one another. I was unable to say anything worthwhile to a sister I hadn't seen in seven years. Akiha stares at me with a guarded expression, inspecting me as if I were some intruder. Though to her, I very may well be. まあいいでしょう。体調が良いのなら話を済ませましょう。今回の移転について詳しい事情は聞いていますか？いや、詳しい事情は何もいいから屋敷に帰ってこいって話だけだ。It's not at all surprising that the death of somebody presiding over a massive agglomeration would make the business section of most papers. We live in a world where a son, disowned by his family, learns of his own father's death on the internet. The news reached me after his funeral had already happened, like I was a complete stranger. Akiha lowers her head quietly. Her hair is beautiful, but that's not important right now. My wording was the problem here. So what? I don't know. 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 I can't imagine they would have been kind to me. So this guy. So it did that I get it all. But I'm supposed to a king at a good in that. I'm lucky to have such an understanding sister. A funeral is an occasion that offers closure to those unable to accept the passing of a loved one. My relationship with my father ended a long time ago. I have no obligations or desire to attend something like that for Makihashi. Makihisha. 
I hadn't once thought about how I'd say goodbye to him. So now, to who did I call to be returned? My father's Yuigon is not the same. I called to be returned to you. It was a decision I made. I don't care if the Tona's children are living in Arima's house. It's not fair. No matter what the result is. あなたはトーナの人間なのですから I accept the word defect without a second thought My father used it often It doesn't bother me anymore And if anything, she's right お父様トーナマキヒサが亡くなった以上トーナの血筋は私と兄さんだけですマキヒサ Okay, so the Hisa, Hisa, Maki Hisa. Okay. She was Mamorale Nakiribaike Masen. Oto Samanga Dono Yona Kangaide, Nisan or Arima no Yeni Azuketa Kama Shirima Senga. So no Oto Samamo, Sudeni Takaina Satani. Liunga Sadaka de Vana Ijo, Tono Shiki or Kotira de Kantok Surunoa, Kazok to Ste Tosen no Koto de Shu. Akiha's words are quiet but firm, as if she were shutting down any possible objections that I could have before I even raised them. じゃあ、もしトーノの家に帰ることを拒否してたらどうなっていたんだ。そんな自由はあなたにはありません。アリマの人間にも本家からの決定を拒む権利はありません。私も兄さんも。遠野家に育てられたものです少なくとも成人し社会的に自立するまではあなたは遠野家に隷属する義務があります So he's 17, so one more year? Okay Makihisa used to say the same thing Parents are responsible for raising their children and preparing them for society Just like any good businessman a, mem a family cannot be sending defective products to market. It would only serve to harm their good name and degrade society as a whole. An individual unwilling to remove such a product has no right to be a parent, and a child unable to bear the responsibilities given onto them has no place in the family. Makihisa Tono spoke of many of this many times to Akiha and I, almost like it was more for him than us. <laughs> She cuts me off about any consideration for her poor brother, disowned by his narrow minded father. Just another day of cleaning up loose ends for the head of the Tono family. ゆうまでもありませんが、私の発言は遠野家当主のものとして受け取ってください。戸籍上ではあなたは私の兄ですが、この家における上下関係はまた別のものです。兄さん、私はあなたを兄として尊重しますが、同時にこの家を預かるもの
親戚の連中がよく納得したな俺を有馬の家に預けろって言い出したの確か親戚の人たちじゃなかったっけそうですねですが今の当主は私です親戚の方たちの進言は全て却下しましたこの件に関して意見を挟むということは私にひいては遠野に逆らうことだと明言しましたから I'm loving how ruthless she is. Oh my god. I am stunned. Even Makihisa wasn't able to ignore our relatives, and Akiha was able to persuade them? No, if anything, she's probably argued them into submission. It's the. Akiha has grown in more ways than one, and as her brother, it's a little terrifying. Nisa? Bought to Stauka or Sarete Masuga? Nanika? Oh, yeah. 感心したというか感動したというか本当に当たり前ですそうでもなければ兄さんを呼び戻せないでしょう話を戻しますニーサには今日からここで暮らしていただきますがここにはここの規律があります今までのような武作法は避けていただきますからそのつもりでお<笑>そりゃ無理だよアキハ今さら俺がお行儀いい人間に戻れるわけないし<笑>戻ろうって気もないんだからい,いえ何があろうと戻っていただきます子供じゃあるまいし試す前から泣き言は結構ですそれとも私にできたことが兄さんにはできないとおっしゃるのですかアキハ shoots a frigid glare in my direction. It pierces through me like an icicle. There's no doubt about it. Seven years worth of resentment is finally being blasted my way now. わかった。できるだけ努力はしてみる。努力はする。ですか。都合のいい返答ですね努力をすれば誰であれ報われるとでも私が求めているのは結果だけですのでそのつもりで<笑> I'm unable to form any kind of response in the face of her ruthless assault いいです兄さんは今まで自由気ままに暮らしていたんですからすぐに生活を正せとは言いません最短で1週間最長で1ヶ月の猶予を差し上げますのでどうぞ死ぬ気で努力してください I don't think I'll be getting any more time after that This must be how Akiha makes compromises あのですねそこまで無茶な話ではありませんから現在屋敷には兄さんと私しか住んでいませんうるさ型の親戚筋がいては兄さんも落ち着けないでしょうし私も煩わしいので人払いは済ませましたお前屋敷に居候してる親戚全員追い出したのかええどうぞお気になさらず家と財産を失いながら何の努力もせずお父様の恩情にすがっていただけの方々です遅かれ早かれ屋敷から出て行ってもらう予定でしたあ使用人たちも大部分に暇を出しましたが私と兄さん付きのものは残しましたので問題はありませんいや問題ないってありすぎるだろうそんな勝手をしまくったら次の親戚会議でやり玉にあげられるぞもうつべこべ言わないでください兄さんだって屋敷の中に人があふれかえっているより私たちしかいない方が気持ちは楽でしょ Seems like a waste of space, honestly. Hmm. She's definitely right about that. でもだな本当にそれでいいのか親父だって親戚の意見には逆らわなかったのにそんな暴君みたいなわがままを通しちまってそうですねだからお父様は
兄さんを有馬の家に預けたんですけれど私子供の頃からあの人たちが大っ嫌いでしたからこれ以上どうでもいい彼らの小言を聞くのはごめんですごめんですってアキハああもういいから私なんかの心配は結構ですそんなことより兄さんはこれからのご自分の生活を案じてくださいいろいろ大変なことになるって目に見えているんだから Akiha says this curtly forcing the conversation in another direction 状況はご理解いただけたとは思いますが兄さんはまだありまでの暮らしが抜けきれていない様子まあそれもいいでしょうそのための使用人ですこの先わからないことがあったらこの子に言いつけてヒスイヒスイ That was the other maid, that's right. Akiha, without turning, calls the girl waiting at the back of the room. The girl named Hisui takes a step forward and gives a bow. It's a polite, though emotionless bow, like servitude made manifest. This girl is Hisui, our servant. I'm going to be a girl for the next year. Is it okay? She's another one of the housekeepers. Wait, what? Jijo, te, tsumari, sono. Wakari yasku yu to, meshi tsukai to yu koto desu. I I don't believe it. Both Akiha and the girl look nothing, look like nothing out of the ordinary has been said. Shoto, matte kure. Meshi tsukai to ka, oge sa sugi nai ka. Jibun no koto grai, jibun de mendo o mireru te yu ka. 食事の支度や洗濯もですかアキハ、シュランポイントともかくこの屋敷に戻ってきた以上私の指示には従ってもらいます有馬の家ではどう暮らしていたかは知りませんがこれからの兄さんは遠野家で暮らす遠野家の長男なんです相応の待遇は義務として受け入れてください<笑> My gaze wanders over to the girl clad in maid attire. Hisui shows little emotion on her face. She looks like a doll as she returns my gaze. So, Hisui, Nisan will hear you and I stack it. Kono Hito, a mini mo hidari mo wakarana, Koneko to Kawarana Yodeskara. Kono Hiro Yashkide, Ikinari Maigo ni Narana Yoni. Kashkomari Masta, Akihasama. Hisui bows to Akiha and walks towards me quietly. She looks towards me, but her gaze is fixated in a way that ensures our eyes do not meet. Her steps are measured, but far from slow. I can tell she's done this for a long time. Ah, so that you, sir? Chonan to Iedo, Kono Yashiki deva kinshi sareta kotogara. Tachi it deva ikenai basho ga arimasu. Sore o okashitari suru koto no nai yoni. ヒスイには兄さんのおもりも命じてありますからヒスイの進言にはできる限り耳を傾けてくださいそれおもりじゃなくて監視役って言わないか兄さんが規則正しい生活をしてくださればヒスイもそんな役割から解放されますそれではまた夕食の席で。Akiha must be busy if she can't spare any more time than this. Oh, yeah, you go on. I must. Excuse me. He so he moves towards the door, paying my obvious confusion no mind. I sigh as I leave the office. We make our way back out to the second floor lobby. The lobby splits the Tono Manor in the two wings. It's like a giant bird in flight, extending its wings far in both directions. Each wing is roughly the size of a small hospital. I vaguely recall that the building is symmetrical with the same number of rooms on both sides. Instead of descending the stairs, Hisui continues along the walkway overlooking the lobby towards the west wing. 
I guess that means my room is on the second floor of the West Wing. The sun has already set outside. Blue carpets line the hallways, extending in either direction. The uniform white walls bring a castle to mind. The maid walks down the hall, lit by warm orange lights. No filter between the brain and mouth here. Shiki-sama, Hisui gives a slight bow after glancing at me, and continues walking again. I don't know what to say, but that's not the first time since returning to the mansion. Floor is made with expensive teak wood, a ceiling that must be at least three meters high. I think I can see a sunroom further down the hall. The room Hisui shows me to isn't where you would expect the high schooler to live. Hi. 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 はい。お部屋は7年前から手を加えていませんので、不自由はないと思います。ああ、どうですね。ちょっといいかな。ここ7年前は俺の部屋だったとか。そう伺っておりますが、違うのですか。ヒスピーツ this doesn't feel like my room at all, but I guess that's what happens when you've been gone for seven years. けど、やっぱり落ち着かないな。今朝まで四畳半の部屋で暮らしてたからさ、高級ホテルに泊まりに来たみたいだ。お気持ちはわかりますが、どうかお慣れください。<笑> I set my bag on the desk and stretch. I'm still a bit overwhelmed by everything, but I don't have much choice other than to just get used to it. At the very least, I need to be comfortable enough to relax in my own space.昨夜のうちに届いたお荷物は全て運び込みましたが、問題はありませんかいや、別にないけど。あ、なんか持ち込んじゃいけないものでもあったとか。いえ、お荷物が少なすぎるようですから、必要なものがあれば、ご用意い
Even asking the question gives me a headache. Asking about modern luxuries in a, a decadent, old-fashioned mansion like this seems wrong. こちらは影が Ishima, that sounds really familiar. Mirasama, Hisui doesn't answer. Her posture as a housemaid must prevent her from voicing her personal opinions about the guests. Regardless, if they've taken all of their belongings with them, I can't expect to find anything I can use. Mikihisha, Makihisa, hated any kind of modern convenience, so I can't imagine he would have allowed them access to the internet or a TV. Akiha must have taken after our father. If nothing else, I still have my phone. I take it out of my pocket and check the time. It's silly to think I was actually worried I might not get service here. It may not be much, but I'm relieved to have at least some way of connecting to the internet. I'd expect to be stuck without one, considering how out of this world this place is. Meanwhile, Hisui is silent. I don't know if it's just her way of trying to be professional, but Hisui doesn't speak unless it's necessary or she's asked something. Not being used to having a professional personal attendant is a little unnerving. I'd like to try and make her smile somehow, but it's not going to be easy. Hisui doesn't respond. She's looking in my direction, but her eyes are fixated on the empty space next to me. R rather like a cat. Hisui says nothing. Until she suddenly returns her gaze to me. Huh? I blurt out without meaning to. Could she mean? Hisui says like she's recalling a memory from a long time ago. Alright, Kobe, you have yourself a good night. Once this chapter is done, we'll be logging out too, which hopefully it's uh, hitting the near end of it. So, have yourself a good night, my dude. Thank you for popping in. Now that I think about it, they do look a lot alike. Hisui is so different from her cheery sister, I didn't even consider that they might be related. I stopped short of asking to use it, but as I feel too embarrassed to go into her room. この話はなかったことにしてくれ。これからここで暮らすんだから、屋敷のルールには従わなくちゃいけないしね。I don't think Akiha would ever let me live it down if I spent my first night back lounging in front of a TV. I'll act the perfect little student, someone worthy of the tone of the name. 夕食まで部屋にいるから、時間になったら呼びに来てくれ。翡翠だって他にやることはあるだろう。Hisui nods affirmatively and puts her hands on the doorknob. The door opens with a faint squeak. Hisui leaves the room after a small bow.
I dine with Akiha. Both Kohaku and Hisui are completely devoted to serving the two of us. Servants aren't allowed to dine at the same table as their masters. It goes without saying, but having grown up with the Armimas, this setup makes me uncomfortable. I've also completely forgotten about table manners. Humans have evolved the ability to remove useless pieces of information from their minds, which means any memories I had of table etiquette are long gone. Every movement I make elicits a raised eyebrow from Akiha. It's nerve-wracking. It does spice up our mealtime. To be honest, the idea that I'll be doing this every day from now on is disheartening. Dinner ends in silence. I was so desperate to remember my table manners, I wasn't even able to come up with any small talk. Aki has seemed displeased the entire time. Hisui and Kohaku have just finished taking away our plates when the reckoning comes. She says plainly. The cold, cruel comment reverberates around the dining room. I knew it. So that's what she was thinking about while raising her eyebrows at me. まずは生活習慣の改善。夜間の外出は当然禁止です。文言は8時とします。どのような理由であれ、外出の時は私が告白、翡翠の許可を取るように。I'm under curfew, are you kidding me, bitch? An 8 p.m. curfew? How old does she think I am? More importantly, I need permission just to leave? Wait, wait, that's... I'll put it on the schedule of the school day. According to the report, the teacher's report is a good one. Well, I don't know how to do it. とんでもない。俺はいつだって全力だ。ですが、この屋敷にいる間は本気を出していただきますから、そのつもりで。兄さんはやればできる人なんですから、お体のことを考慮しても、学年3位以内は当然でしょ。My sister is painfully overestimating me. And it's scary how much she knows about my grades. What does she mean by it? あれと言えばあれです。あるでしょう。兄さんのズボンにも若者の象徴のような汚らわしいあれが。それを隠さずに出しなさいと言っているのです。いや、ますます分からない。これが上流階級のすることか。一般市民は何だと思ってるんだ、お前は。ですから、携帯端末を出してください。兄さんだって持っているんでしょ。なるほど。I take out my phone from my back pocket. As soon as I place it on the table, Hisui wordlessly takes the phone and gives it to Akiha. This is, this is how Nasu dealt with the modern age of technology. He just made Akiha a technophobe? Christ. Okay. Okay. Th that, this makes sense considering this was originally written in early 2000s um so there wasn't cell phones or any of that kind of shit so <laughs> this makes this makes sense yeah no i thought she meant his dick at first too so i was like what <音声><音声><音声><音声><音声><音声> Akiha cuts our one-sided conversation short and leaves the dining room. I find myself stunned in the silence by, for the 
nth time today. I was never super attached to my phone. I mostly used it for texting to check the news when I had some free time, though. Like most people, I consider it a basic necessity. It's another reminder of how strict the tone of household really is. I mean, banning phones in this day and age? I return to my room now that dinner is finished. It's just past 9.30. I spent about two hours in the dining room in the end. Hisui greets me as soon as I enter my bedroom. I see my bed waiting for me neatly made. She was a step ahead of me, it seems. Oh, thank you. A wicker basket is placed at the foot of the bed. I assume if I put my dirty clothes in there and place it in the hall, then Hisui will clean them for me. This is starting to feel even more like some upscale hotel. Hisui stands there as still as a statue. I have plenty of questions, but it dawns on me that I know very little about Hisui or Kohaku. あまり関係ない話なんだけど、いいかい。はい、何でしょう。翡翠と小白さんがここでどんな仕事をしているのか知りたいんだけど、どうかな。私が式様付きで姉の小白は秋葉城様のお世話をさせていただいております。お二人が
はい何としてもそのように<笑> Her please has a bit of a punch to it わかったじゃあそのようにでも俺に対してあんまり堅苦しいのはなしにしてほしいお姉さんの琥珀さんにもそう伝えてくれるとありがたいはい四季様がそうおっしゃるのなら He sweetly lowers her head gracefully Alright, looks like we've just got a long ways to go until we can talk casually He sweetly leaves the room after bowing The moment I'm alone, a wave of exhaustion crashes over me. A lot's happened today. My body is crying out for some much needed rest. I turn out the lights and lie on the bed. I can tell I'll sleep like a rock. I try to fight against the sleep creeping in. I'm somehow able to keep my eyes open, but it's a losing battle. No matter how hard I fight, I fall, into, I fall deeper. That's just how the human body is built. I stare at the stealing, still in space between consciousness and sleep. Back after seven years, seeing family again, it still feels like someone else's house. I say as I try to accept everything. My consciousness slips away as I sink into a deep slumber, a mansion on a high hill, far away from the bustling of the town. Like an island surrounded by a sea of trees. I come to this conclusion the instant my eyes close. It's like a prison. I awake suddenly. Nobody woke me, nor did I hear a sound. It just happened, seemingly for no reason. I wonder how long it's been since I woke up in the middle of the night. I get up, feeling like I've forgotten something. A shiver of unease creeps over me as I exit my room. I start down the hallway in a search of a glass of water to, sh slack, to slack my thirst. The long, moonlit hallway lies before me. The night is totally silent. This all feels so familiar. I must have done exactly this when I was younger. I find myself wandering to the stairs aimlessly, yet not. There, a hidden section of the mansion. The, staircase, the stairs connect not only the first and second floors, but also an attic by way of a secret passage. It seems even the people living here have long forgotten this place. The room, once used for storage, shows no trace of anyone having used it in years. Despite being midway through October, it's seeming unseasonably cold tonight. I rummage through the room, hoping to find a blanket. An old cabinet catches my eye. I, op I open each drawer. I find some odds and ends, but a little of note. There's nothing worthwhile in the drawers. Even the giant chest I opened has only a few scattered stones inside. A badge, a few trinkets, a pair of binoculars, all things a child might collect. Among them, a single thing stands out, different from everything else. Stained bandages sealed in a clear plastic case. They're rolled up neatly, but so old that they can never be used. There's nothing here. I shut the drawer and start back to my room. What the fuck is going on? 
Upon exiting the room, I realize my cheeks are wet. I wonder, could I have used this place when I was a child? What the fuck is going on? Nasu, I love you, but what the fuck is going on? Oh, hey! Save progress! I think we finally hit chapter completion. Yes, we're on chapter two. Yay. Yep, day two. A day that was not. All right. And with that, we're going to end our stream. So that was really fucking fun. No, I don't blame you, dude. Like, I, I need to go to bed, too. It's 10 o'clock. Uh, I was trying the stream for about four hours tonight anyway, so this would have been when I uh, stopped if I had started on time at 6, so we're good. Anyways, thank you so much, everyone, for coming into our stream. Uh, thank you so much for the two raids we had tonight. So thank you so much to Zograd, as well as... Um, oh, who else raided me tonight? Uh, I had another one earlier. Ah, uh, do do do. Oh, we had too many notifications. Oh my god. Uh, because I know I had a second raid tonight. Um. <laughs> anyway, okay. There's a raid there. Okay. Um. But yeah, I I'll find it and ping it on Twitter. Um. But yeah, thank you so much for everyone coming to my stream. Um. Have. Hydrate there. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm about to go eat dinner because I didn't eat dinner before this, and I also need to go finish my workout. So thank you so much, guys. As a reminder, please follow the Discord for any updates and things like that. I don't know when I'm going to stream last. This week's going to be hectic because in two weeks we're going to be in California for Metal Gear Solid Con. Um, so... Thank you so much for, again, joining me for my stream back. This has been such great energy. I love it. I've missed you guys so much. So, anyways, take care, everybody. Have a good night. The VOD will be up on the YouTube channel tomorrow, so don't worry about that. If you did miss any of the readings earlier tonight, we will continue this for sure. Anyways, have a good night, everyone. Thank you so much for the love back. Have a good night. I forgot the one critical thing. I forgot the one critical thing. We forgot to raid someone. I've been away from Twitch so long. So let's go find someone to raid. Uh, who can we go say hi to? Who is currently streaming? Hey, Zombie streaming. Uh, we can go say hi to her. Uh, Erin, not Erin, is also streaming. So we can go say hi to her. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go raid. Uh, let's go raid Aaron, not Aaron. So Aaron, not Aaron is a cosplayer I met in um, Anime Las Vegas in person. I followed her content for a long time. She is a really, really fun person. If you don't know her, uh, she does a she does a really good Revy from Black Lagoon. Um, so let's go give her uh, a, a raid tonight. Um, so have a good night, guys. Uh, but we'll go give her some love. Anyways, take care, have a good night, and we'll be back when we're back. So now we can formally end. <laughs>